the, the advice that I would give in considering how to develop Wise Tribe is not to think of it in the context of the organization. I think that's an outmoded way to look at our future. I think that for Wise Tribe to be effective, you have to think of it as a, as a movement. You have to think about it the same way that Gandhi and Mandela and Martin Luther King looked at the problems they faced. It's been a central challenge in terms of what exactly are we standing for or fighting against with Wise Tribe. And his advice to me is to treat it not like your traditional organization where you plan for, um, you know, having a business plan, but it's much more of a social movement and that we get to look at other people that have done social movements like Gandhi, Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King, and if I think about them, the thing that they have really organized against is this oppression by a very um, identifiable system of um, what's holding people back. It was the, the British Empire. It was um, apartheid. It was, um, you know, lack of racial equality in the U.S. But now it's like, what is the problem? You know, I think the problem that we're solving is really disconnection, isolation, apathy, resignation. You know, it's like the problems are too big that none of us really know how we can start solving them. And so what is that exactly? What I see as sort of the problems that we're solving, he sees as the symptoms to something that's much larger. But what that larger thing is, is something that is something I need help identifying and understanding. And I would ask everybody to get involved and start trying to name what is the problem.